Holden Vintage and Classics supply a number of Bellstaff jackets. Bellstaff used to be made in the UK. It's now made in Italy. You've either got leather jackets, wax cotton jackets, or the Bellflex nylon jacket, which was sort of the, the latest that we would do, which is sort of 1970s. These would have been worn through the 50s and 60s and into the early 70s, well, even before the 50s, really. And obviously leather motorbike clothes, they've been around since motorbikes were invented. The most traditional of the loss that we do would be the new aerial, which is, as you can see, a very traditional 1920s, 30s style motorcycle jacket made of heavy leather. We have the Knock Hill leather jacket. Now this would have been in the old terminology when the, these were made by the, the British company, this would have been the professional trial master in leather. We've got the Oliver's Mount, which is basically a leather version of the Brooklyn's jacket, which is also called the Mojave jacket. Um, after Steve McQueen used to wear one similar to that when he was riding around in the Mojave Desert in America. So that's the Oliver's Mount. Heavy cow leather again. Traditional motorbike jacket, the Snatterton. Lots of lovely elasticated stitching and things. Two colourways here of the Taurus Trophy. Uh, this one being brown and sand. Um, the traditional British waxed cotton motorbike jacket. The Brooklyn's jacket, which is a shorter, again, waxed cotton. This, the most modern of the ones that we do. Bellflex, nylon, waterproof. Same basic style, slightly shorter than the Taurus Trophy. And that's the range that we do. Now, Bellstaff, obviously, there's a whole range of fashion jackets. Um, it, within the fashion range, which you can buy in the fashion stores in London and major cities around the world, some of these jackets will feature, but they will be lighter in weight and they won't have any armour and they may be slightly more expensive. So this is part of the Bellstaff motorcycle range. There is some modern Kajura jackets that they sell as well, which are excellent jackets, but it's not really our market. We, we pride ourselves in trying to cope with the, the vintage and classic market, so that's why this is our range. Right, now moving on a year, since we filmed the, the earlier part of this film, the aerial jacket has been discontinued. Now we've got one or two limited sizes left. Um, it always was the most traditional, but that, I'm afraid, is now discontinued. We have got two new styles jacket. The latest tourist trophy, which is available in black and deep blue. And we've got the new trial master, which is, a, is this uh, lighter brown and black. So first of all, the ladies tourist trophy. We'll get Davinia to put this one up. Now it's uh, really, it's just like the bloke's one. It's much more heavily wasted, obviously. There you go. You've got more belt loop holes on this one. Now, obviously, all, all the Bellstaff jackets slightly long in the arm. Obviously, if you're riding a bike, you need the extra length in the sleeve. Right, and on that, as you can see, with the, with the sleeves, just put your sleeve out, mate. By the time you, you can pop them up so that uh, you're wearing it out as a fashion jacket. And these have got, uh, the new ones have got a much softer armour in the elbows and shoulder than, than the other ones. But there we are. Well, how does it feel? Nice? Yeah, it's good enough. Quite light. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you are. Ladies' tourist trophy jacket. The new men's trial master is a sort of combination between the, the Brooklyn's or Mojave jacket and the tourist trophy. It, it's longer in length. 
You've got some extra features which we'll, we'll go through as flat shots. Um, you've got the, the quilting on the shoulder. Uh, there's a, an extra pocket on the, on the sleeve. It also comes with its own little rain mac, which is designed just to, to run over the, the, the outside. So, you know, if you're in the motorway traffic, which is nasty and greasy, it's going to keep the jacket fairly clean. Available in, in black and deep brown. Uh, Simon's going to try the brown one on. He's, he's large. I'm more portly and extra large. Again, these have got the, the soft armour in them. Well-staff zips are always a bit of a, because they're a double zip, you need to hold the one end firmly down and then make sure it's really right through to the bottom and it works nice and free. Probably slightly shorter than the Tourist Trophy, I think, somewhere. Obviously not short like the Brooklands, but... Right, the ladies' tourist trophy. This is a black one. As you can see, it's black, brown stitching. Um, four pockets, this one at a slight angle in the traditional style. Plain brass for the poppers. Much more wasted than the, than the men's one. Slightly shorter, obviously, in the body. And it, it's got four supports for the, for the belt. You've got the same like the men's, the removable lining. So, summer and winter. And padding in the shoulders and the elbow. And on this one as well, you've got the zip zipper pocket, which if you want to put back armour into, you can, you can put some back armour in there as well. From the back, again, you can see, heavily wasted. Very flattering, I think, for ladies to wear. Uh, it's a real nice jacket. Here we have the antique blue jacket. It's a dark blue. In the sunlight, it's, it's much more obviously blue. Um, blue stitching, pale, slightly paler blue stitching with this one, uh, otherwise identical to the black one. The man's trial master, padded shoulders like the Brooklyn's jacket, padded elbows. We've got soft removable armour in, in both, proper Proper armour, just more flexible. More of an angle on the, the pocket here than the Taurus Trophy. Got an extra pocket here on the sleeve. And you've got a zipped compartment in the front of this pocket. Similar belt to the Taurus Trophy. This one doesn't come with a lining. Zipped compartment here for your mobile phone, wallet, whatever. Nice check lining and uh, an amount of insulation in there as well. And then on, on the inside you've got this nylon drip stop. Uh, so if it gets wet underneath it just the water just runs off that. Again the, the, the armour is in individual pockets that you can take it out. And we've got provision here for back armour if you want to buy your own back armour to put in. These jackets come with a, their own little rain mac as well, just to keep the, the real rubbish off. The, the traditional wax cotton, British Miller Rain wax cotton, that has its normal waterproof characteristics, but in a day when you're on the motorway with lots of greasy diesel particulates everywhere, they obviously get filthy, and if you can just keep the, the main off with this, that's a, a sensible thing. Just flip it over at the back. Just 
see the, the back of the jacket there. 